Most of us are now familiar with PayPal, the eBay-owned online payment company that allows you to transfer funds within minutes. But from the days when the business model consisted of sending cash on a Palm Pilot to its current global status, there's something in the DNA of the company that has bred more than 20 world-famous entrepreneurs since its launch in 1999. Following PayPal's acquisition by eBay in 2002, these businessmen left the company one by one and became collectively known as the PayPal Mafia. Between them, their inventions have been credited with helping the technology industry back onto its feet after the dot-com crash in the early 2000s, and changing the way many of us live our lives. So who are the PayPal Mafia, and exactly what have they achieved to earn such iconic recognition? Here's our list of the top 10 most influential members. Here's how it happened. We'll start with number 10, Yishan Wong, who began his career as an engineering manager at PayPal. Wong left in 2005 to seek out a new challenge, and chose to join the early Facebook team as director of engineering. After four and a half years working closely with Mark Zuckerberg, Wong moved on again, this time to his first CEO position at discussion website Reddit. Two and a half years proved long enough for Wong though, as the stress of the role started taking a toll on his personal life, and so he currently assumes an advisory role at question and answer site Quora. Up next is Ken Howery, one of the six original founders of PayPal, where he served as the company's CFO. After leaving eBay and PayPal in 2002, Howery worked in private equity before launching Founders Fund, a venture capital firm that has invested over $3 billion into companies like Facebook, Spotify, and Airbnb, and has since lectured at Stanford and Harvard Business School on entrepreneurship. Following such a successful business career that has seen his net worth hit over $1 billion, Howery recently moved into diplomacy, and in 2019 became the United States Ambassador to Sweden, tasked with promoting business and technological opportunities between the two countries. Together in 8th position are Russell Simmons and Jeremy Stoppelman, who were respectively an engineer and the Vice President of Technology back at PayPal, and later became co-founders of the crowdsourced reviews website Yelp. The idea for the company was formed when Stoppelman came down with the flu and struggled to find recommendations for a doctor. 16 years later, and there are over 220 million reviews of businesses available on Yelp, which boasts an annual revenue of over $1 billion. Number 7 in our list is South African David Sachs, PayPal's former Chief Operating Officer. Another PayPal founder, Sachs moved on to create Yammer, a business-focused social media platform similar to LinkedIn, which he sold to Microsoft for $1.2 billion in 2012. He's better known today as an angel investor and founding partner at VC firm Kraft Ventures. His impressive list of investments includes Lyft, Uber, SpaceX, and Twitter. In amongst all this, he's also managed to make a name for himself in Hollywood as a Golden Globe-nominated film producer. At number 6 sits Premal Shah, once a humble product manager who's spent the last 15 years making credit more accessible to millions of disadvantaged customers around the world. In 2005, he co-founded Kiva, a non-profit organisation that makes crowdfunded loans to entrepreneurs in underserved communities, with a particular emphasis on women and green technology. To date, over a billion dollars has been lent out to 3 million different entrepreneurs, of which 96% has been repaid. Last year, Shah took a step back to an advisory role at Kiva to become Chief Business Officer at Branch International, a socially conscious financial services firm that delivers its products via mobile to emerging markets. At the halfway stage of our top 10, we'd like to make a few honourable mentions who have gone on to do great things but just missed the cut. The first is Roloff Bota, a partner at Sequoia Capital and named by Forbes as number 3 tech investor in their Midas list. Next is Luke Nosek, a PayPal founder who helped Howery create Founders Fund. And finally, Keith Raboy, a serial investor who has held senior positions at LinkedIn, Slide and Square. Back to our top 10, and the second half of the list opens with Max Levchin. Born in Kiev, Levchin co-founded PayPal's predecessor, Confinity, at the age of just 23. After leaving PayPal, he launched media sharing service Slide in 2004, which he later sold to Google for $182 million in 2010. Some of his next roles have included Chairman of the Board of Directors at Yelp, Corporate Director at Yahoo, and Chairman of Glow. 
His current position is founder and CEO at Affirm, a company that uses technology to make financial products that are transparent and better tailored to consumers, such as their buy now, pay later tool that can be used in stores like Walmart. In a three-way tie for fourth place, we have Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Javid Karim, the three co-founders of the world's second most visited website, video sharing platform, YouTube. The trio launched YouTube in 2005, and just a year later sold the business to Google for $1.65 billion. They've all kept their entrepreneurial streak, with Chen producing a new video sharing app called Mixbit before working at Google Ventures, Hurley also working on Mixbit, as well as part owning the NBA's Golden State Warriors and MLS's Los Angeles Football Club, and Kareem moving on to form Y Ventures, and investing in the likes of Airbnb, Eventbrite, and Reddit. Taking home the bronze medal is Reid Hoffman. Once the executive vice president of PayPal, Hoffman shot to fame as the founder of the business social network, LinkedIn. He eventually sold the company to Microsoft in 2016 for $26 billion, by which time the website had amassed more than 400 million members. Hoffman has also been described as one of the most successful angel investors of the 21st century, both as an individual and through his role as partner at VC firm Greylock and his personal wealth is currently estimated to be in the region of $2 billion. Our runner-up is the so-called Don of the PayPal Mafia, Peter Thiel. Born in Frankfurt, Germany, Thiel was one of the original founders of PayPal and held the title of CEO until the eBay acquisition. He left to pursue other opportunities and in 2003 founded Clarium Capital, a hedge fund and investment management company that within five years controlled assets valued at $8 billion. In 2004, he created Palantir Technologies, which deals largely with data and tech security and recently went public with a valuation of $20 billion. Thiel was also the very first outside investor in Facebook, acquiring a 10% stake in the social network for half a million dollars during the same year as its inception. He later sold most of his shares in the business, but has retained his seat among the board of directors. And in first place, we have perhaps the best known member of the Mafia, Elon Musk. Considered a genius by some, and a crackpot by others, hardly a day goes by when Musk's name isn't front page news. Before his PayPal days, Musk had already created a software company called Zip2 that was sold to Compaq for $307 million. His own online bank, X.com, then merged with Confinity to form what we now know as PayPal. And as the company's largest shareholder, he benefited the most handsomely from its sale, pocketing $165 million. Musk is currently best known for his electric vehicle and clean energy company, Tesla, and SpaceX, the space flight company that hopes to one day colonize planet Mars. Some of Musk's other ventures include Hyperloop, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, all groundbreaking businesses that could change society forever. Of course, a portfolio like this makes him one of the top 10 richest men on the planet, with some sources estimating Musk's wealth to be around $100 billion. And that's how it happened. Let us know your thoughts on the top 10, and which company you think might produce the next Mafia. Thanks for watching.